All right, so I'm starting a new series called The Undercover Marketer, and this is where I review products that are hyped up in the marketplace. The first one is Snapchat, and if you're a marketer, Snapchat is a loser. Yes, I'm gonna take a lot of flack for this. I don't really care. I went through this, I studied it. I'm telling you, stay away from it right now if you're a marketer. Now, I have the right, and I reserve the right, to change my mind tomorrow or next month or a year from now when and if they make changes that are more marketer friendly. So the first problem I have with it is it's very confusing interface, but that's not even the main problem I have with it. The main problem I have with it is all messages disappear after being watched once or within 24 hours. That's a huge deal for marketers. Who wants their message to disappear? There's not a single marketer I know out there that think this is a good idea. So that's the first and main one. Then number two, Yes, Snapchat engagement is very high, but as a marketer, I don't care if the consumer of that, con of that content that I put out there can't click through to something or can't go to a landing page that I control or I can't get them to do anything with it. They just consume it and it's gone. They can't even go back to it. So that's number two. Number three, the barrier to getting new followers is extremely high. Try getting new followers, or, or even worse, try getting new followers to follow you. What a confusing, complex process. It's a waste of time to even try. There's so many other tools that are more effective, that have SEO value, and that have bigger audiences. Number four, you only have 10 seconds to produce a video. Now, I know you can string these together, but you better be damn good if you want to make a compelling story in 10 second increments. And so I consider this kind of a nightmare. You're better off with YouTube and Facebook where you can control the length of time, you can control what kind of graphics are imported in, you can get a lot more control and a much bigger audience right now. Yes, Snapchat's got a big audience, but try reaching them. And that brings up number five, my biggest pet peeve is great analytics per snap but these analytics disappear after the snap or the story's gone. That's ridiculous. It's not marketer friendly. Stay away with it. Stay away from it. What I want you to do is stick with these five, these five marketing channels and they'll, they'll convert a lot better, uh, much have a much higher ROI and you have much more control. Number one is YouTube, especially when you're working with YouTube influencers. Number two is email. Email converts just as good as YouTube. Uh, but you don't get the audience reach that YouTube has. Number three and number four, I think are kind of tied Pinterest and Facebook video. Facebook video takes the edge when you throw some ad dollars behind it. And number five is Instagram. But Instagram, if you don't know, the only way you can convert customers into doing something that you want is through the profile URL. So those are the five, stick with those for now. And like I said, I can change my mind on Snapchat, but right now, if you're a marketer, stay away, for, away from it. It's a great personal branding tool, and that's why you're hearing all the people that are personal branding experts or people that want to brand themselves personally talk about this. But if you're a marketer, stay away.